try and make this as quick as possible, but I'm going to show you a technique uh, where you can easily script um, the removal of tripods from panorama photos uh, like you might shoot with the Ricoh Theta camera. Um, so I will talk as I do it. First I'm going to show you the end result. So I have a sample photo here which I'm going to work with. I'll open that up in uh, Photoshop. And down here at the bottom we can see the um, outline of a tripod. I actually faked this tripod. It's not a real tripod. I've already removed it from this photo but I didn't have a photo handy with a real tripod in it so I had to replicate it. But anyway, down here is a tripod. We want to get rid of that. And um, I'm going to show you real quick what the end result of this uh, little tutorial will be. I'm going to click this uh, little script button here all in one. It's going to perform all my actions and boom the tripod is gone. Um, so let me put that image back. Let's just talk about how that's done. The first step is to, um, through the scripts, to rotate the image 180 degree and then convert it into um, uh, a sphere. So I've got that script here. I'll show you how the script is done in a moment, but this is step one. Step one converts it into a sphere, and now we can um, zoom in and see, here's my little fake tripod that I made. Looks very much like a typical uh, tripod in a shot that I usually take. Um, and we want to remove that. So the next step, step two, is the removal of the tripod. And that is done by doing a content aware fill on a selection. And because the tripod is always in the center of this sphere, we can save that selection and know that that selection is always going to be the spot where the tripod is so we can safely fill that selection with um, surrounding pixels with that content aware fill. So let me just dem demonstrate this step two real quick. I'll just click that button and now the tripod just vanished. Um, a lot of stuff happened in the background, behind the scenes there that you didn't see, but we'll look at that in a moment. And then the final step is to put it back into the sphere, or, or not the um, sphere, but the regular mode. Oh, I actually just clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Let me revert, and you'll see what the last step was. Sorry. So step one, make it to sphere. Step two, remove the tripod. Step three is put it back to how it was. And now we don't have that visible um, bit at the bottom where the tripod was. So that's pretty cool, right? That can save a lot of time, especially if you got like 40 photos to work with. Uh, um, that, that, that's that's going to be a lot of uh, tripod erasing. And uh, uh, let's make things fast because we like to be efficient, don't we? Okay, so... Let me revert this back to the original file. Here's our um, file with the tripod in it. Now let's take a look at these actions that are doing all the magic. So I'm going to get rid of this all in one. That's the one where I've combined all three of these into one step. That would be the actual one that you'd want to keep, but for demo purposes, um, I'm going to break it down into steps. So first thing I'm going to do is just delete this all in one here. And let's look at the individual steps. So the first thing in my first action, which is make sphere, is um, to rotate the document 180 degrees. And you just do that with image um, rotate 180 in your scripting. Um, the next step in the script is to uh, convert it um, from uh, rectangular coordinates to polar. And that is done under uh, Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. And then you toggle which mode you want here. And click the OK. I scripted that. And then I stopped my script and saved that as uh, th th that, that part became step one, the mix sphere. 
So after step one, it looks like that. So step two is the removal of the tripod. Now this is the fancy bit. Um, so the first thing that it's doing is opening a document that I have made ahead of time, which has my selection saved within it for the tripod. And uh, let me just show you what that file looks like. Um, this file here looks like nothing. It's blank. But it's the exact same dimensions as the photo that the um, the source photo is. In this case it's a Rico Theta that I shot it on. And I can see here that my dimensions of this blank image are this. Um, and it's blank but there is a channel here that has the saved outline. And that is an outline that I drew around the tripod and it's been saved as a channel. And that is where we will be um, grabbing the selection from. This channel of this document will be grabbed by our script. So going back to our script here, um, it's opening that saved file. So it's on my desktop in a folder called some folder, saved outline PSD. And then um, it's going to the next step um, after opening that image, it switches back to our photo. All I did was click the, the window when I was running the script. And then it's going to set a selection on our photo from the channel saved outline of the document saved outline PSD. We're gonna we're gonna go through building this script so that you can replicate it. Um, after it's um, set the selection from that file, it's going to um, select that file, saved outline.psd, and then close it, leaving only our image open with an active selection made. Um, then we are going to here, let me close these. Um, then we're going to fill that selection using Photoshop's content aware fill. Um, so the fill tool, you know, you might normally think of it as just like, you know, fill. But if you haven't seen, there is an option for the paint bucket. Um, or sorry, it's not on that paint bucket there. Let me just make a selection. I can do edit fill. So usually there's, you know, foreground color, background color, which is using these, but hidden under here, there's this thing called content aware. And when you do a fill with content aware, it samples the pixels around your selection to fill what's within the selection. I've made a pretty large selection here, so if I do this right now, it's probably going to be really weird, but I'm curious. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so it kind of filled it in a bit as best the computer could guess. <laughs> anyway, let me clear my selection there. So that's what it did. It filled it with it filled the selection with uh, content aware and it's a very small selection so it's pretty easy to sample. Um, even if this the ground has like uh, tiles or carpet texture or something like that, it should do a pretty good job as long as the selection is good. Um, it does a fill and then um, we select none and then that step is done in the removing the tripod and then the last step is just the opposite of the first step where we're converting the polar coordinates uh, back to rectangular from polar and then we're rotating it 180 degrees back to the original way that we wanted it and um, I'm not saving the file and closing the, the file after because I want to review the work that the scripts did so I can, you know, make sure as a human that I'm happy with the results because who knows. Anyway, so let's look at how I did this um, remove tripod script. Actually, let me, let me just build the whole thing all over again. So I'm going to create a new set and I'm going to call it... Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to call it um, video, just because I'm not knowing what else to call it right now. Um, and I'm going to revert this image back to the start. 
so that it has the fake um, tripod at the, um, the bottom there. And let's rebuild it. So step one, make sphere. All right, so I'm gonna create a new action. I'm gonna call it make sphere in the set video. There it is. Okay, so we're in record mode so that anything I click or do will get recorded. So the first thing I want to do is image rotate 180, right? And then I'm going to do filter distort polar coordinates rectangular to polar and click OK. And that puts us in the sphere thing. That's the end of that step. We're done. We'll hit the stop button. We stopped recording. That one's good. Now we want to make a new one and we're going to call this remove tripod and we're going to record it in the same group there video record oh and actually before I do this sorry let me stop that recording what we need is the template file so we're going to want to have the template be exactly the same dimension so right now I'm going to select all I'm going to copy to my clipboard so my clipboard knows the image dimensions. I'm going to hit Command New, probably be Control New on a uh, Control Control sorry Command N on uh, on a Mac and Control N on a PC I guess to create a new document and it's pre-filled with the dimensions from my clipboard here so that's fine. I'll hit OK and um, I'm going to save this document. I hit command save, but nothing happened. One sec. Hmm. Uh, try this one. Oh, it did save. Where did it save to? Well, that's weird. Where did this file save to? File, save as. And uh, I'm going to call it saved outline. It's on my desk desktop. Place that file. So let's make a, uh, a selection around our tripod here. I'm just going to use the um, tool that I'm familiar with. I'm giving it a, a bit of space around it. There, I have a selection. Now I want to save that selection. And I'm going to save it to my document that is open, my saved outline PSD, to, to a channel, um, a new channel that I'll call my outline. And I'll hit OK. And now in this document, which was open, I have a, a, a channel called my outline with the shape that I just drew. Let me make sure this uh, file is saved, and I'll close it. And now um, we're ready to continue on with making our script because we have that file now. So uh, to remove the tripod, um, let's go back into uh, record mode. I'm going to need to go to select. Oops. The option I want is load selection, but it's grayed out right now. Um, the reason it's grayed out, I believe, one second, is because I might might have been in channel mode. No. Bear with me one moment here. I'm in RGB. Oh, I know why. Because, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. The first thing that I have to do as I'm recording this script is open it this way and um, browse, for, browse for the file, open the outline file. That was my mistake. I forgot about that for a moment. And now that that is open, I'll switch to the other window. It's even going to re record in the script that I switched to the other window. And now that I have multiple windows open, when I go to select, load selection, I have the option available. So I'm going to load from the file saved outline, which is the only other file that's open, from the channel My Outline. And I click OK. And it just built this selection now based on that other file. 
And now we'll switch back to the other window. I can do that by here. Let's record that as selecting next document. I'm done with this document, so I'll close it. It marks that as closed. And maybe I'll just uh, select none. I made that selection. And um, that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that yet. The selection is loaded. Let me stop my script because I messed it up. Uh, I did mess it up. don't want to select none. So I closed that document. Okay, I'm ready to start the script again. So now I have the selection there. I want to do um, fill, fill, content aware fill. And it samples of the surrounding pixels. Now I can do select none. Select. And that's it for this step, this stage. So we've got the remove tripod done, and now the last step, I'll call this uh, sphere. I realize that's a silly name, but that's what I'm going with. Um, we will go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. This time we want to go polar to rectangular. Just puts it back there. And then rotate it 180 and we're back at our original state. So there you have it. I've just replicated um, what was in my demo. I'll just uh, delete that and we'll go back to here. So um, that's that becomes three buttons now. Make sphere, remove tripod, and un unsphere. Let's say we want that all down to a single button click. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay, let me make a new folder here. I'll call it uh, copy. And I'm going to duplicate each of these actions by just clicking and dragging there. Put that in the copy. And I'll duplicate this one. Put that here. And I'll duplicate this one and put that there. And then I want these to all be one step. So um, let me expand these. And I'm going to select all the steps that were in there, and I'll just put them within this folder here that came after, leaving that folder empty. And same here. Put them after there. And now these ones are empty. So I'll delete those. Delete. And now we have one action. And let's switch into button mode. Now we have one button that will do everything. Um, so let me uh, revert this file back to its original state. Save file with a tripod in it. And I'll click my magic do it all yo button. Oh, I ran into a small problem with my script. Man set is not currently available. I ran into a problem with my script. I must have screwed something up. Um, but I'm going to include a link to my script in the description. Normally that works. <laughs> uh, I must have done something wrong right now, but I'm sure you don't want to watch me uh, correct my mistake in the video. But um, it should go smoothly. I'm going to include a um, uh, a copy of my script in the description of the video so you can download that and import it into your um, Photoshop actions and uh, edit it as you see fit. Um, I hope you found this uh, useful. If you did, um, please give it a like and uh, thanks for watching.